Welcome to Storytime with Dottie. Today, I will read The Stinky Shoe of Fortune from Wigglesbottom Primary, The Toilet Ghost. The Stinky Shoe of Fortune. When we did our class challenge, um, talent show, Joel Jack and M Miles McKay said they, that they were going to do a, a magic act. Joel Jack stood up first and showed us all a packet of trees and onion crisps. Then he asked for a vol volunteer from the audience to eat one to prove that they were real, real crisps. Everyone put their hands up, but George picked Miss Riley, even though she didn't have her hand up. And then she ate one and said, yes, they're real. George Jack said that he was going to do the ama amazing vanishing crisp set. And then he put a big towel over his head. Then, then there was lots of crunching, and we all knew that Joel, that Joel Jack was just eating the crisp to make them vanish because we could hear him. Then Joel Jack said, "Could could a volunteer from the audience please pass me a bag of salt and vinegar?" But Miss Riley said no. And that's when it was time for a new act. So that's when Miles McKay stood up and took his left shoe shoe and he and held it up into in the air. Miss Riley told Ma Miles to put his shoe back on and to get on with his act but but Miles said the shoe was his act and that it that it was a magic shoe that it would predict the free future and then he started waving at everyone. Lauren Carr said that the shoe was stinking but Miles said if you, if you can smell the shoe, that means the shoe wants to tell you something. So Miles held the shoe over Lauren's head and Lauren held her nose and the shoe started shaking. And then Miles said, the shoe says you will have a cheese and jam sandwich for your lunch today. So Lauren took her sandwich out of her lunch pocket and opened it up and then she gasped because it was a cheese and jam sandwich she held it up for everyone to see and and we were all shocked and everyone started shouting do me next do me then miles held the shoe shoe over miss riley's head and said today you will get a big surprise. And then Miss Riley said, Ooh, how lovely. And I was desperate for me it to be my turn. But the bell rang and Miles had to put the shoe back on so we could all go out for lunch. All go for lunch. Everyone was talking about the shoe at lunch. Lauren Kaya even said that she was going to keep half of her sandwich as evidence that the shoe had powers. Then Ifran Baxer said that he was going to play football, so everyone ran outside to watch Miles with the shoe 
at him and then I friend said when I friend scored first goal everyone went oh okay Miles said the sh the shoe at him when I friend scored first goal everyone went mad and the boys even picked Miles off the ground and chanted shoe 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 that afternoon, Lauren Carr started crying because she couldn't couldn't find her rope time snack. So Miles held the shoe up to his ear. Up to his ear and nodded as the, if the shoe was whispering to him. And then said, the shoe has a riddle for you. What's yellow and blue and not made of poo? So we all looked around for something that was yellow and blue and not, not made of poo. And that's when I saw the big bean bag. So I shouted... The bean bag and everyone rushed over and when we picked it picked it up we found Lauren Carr's Kit Kat underneath. So Lauren Carr Niles half of her Kit Kat to say thanks. And then the deputy head, Mr Harris, came rushing in and asked us what was going on so we told him the sand back. And the, okay, okay, I think I missed a page there. <laughs> then Miss Riley started screaming that there was a rat in her handbag and then she shut herself in the cupboard and we all looked and saw a rat's tail sticking out of her bag. Then the deputy head, Mr. Harris, came rushing in and asked us what, was going on so we told him and said stand back and use the ruler to flip the rat's tail um, into the bag so it didn't get squished then he closed the bag really quickly to, then he told Miss Riley that the situation situation was under control and that it she would come out now but she wouldn't that's when i remembered that miles said earlier about riley miss riley's big surprise and i realized that miles hadn't said that it was going to be a good surprise so i shouted through the door and miss riley said um thought to miss riley that the rat must have been her big surprise as soon as i said she opened the door and said miles mckay did you put a rat in my handbag and miles said said no but then Mr. Harris says, said, Miles, did you put a rat in Miss Riley's bag? And Miles said yes, but then, but then he said that it wasn't a real rat, it was only uh, made of rubber, and that was all part of his act. Then Miles explained, and then Miles, Miles explained the shoe didn't have powers, it, he just tricked us. Miles said that he peeked inside Lauren's packed lunch box and said, um, and packed lunch work, and that morning to see her sandwich, but he'd taken to see her sandwich, and then he'd, he'd taken her, um, her Kit Kat and hidden it under the bean bag, and also that she put, the rat in Miss Riley, Riley's 
bag when she wasn't looking, but Max said, if it was if it was a trick, how did you know I was going to play football and score a goal? And Miles said that Ivan always plays football at lunch and that he always scored a, scored a goal and probably would scored even more goals if everyone hadn't stopped playing chant playing to chance shoe shoe so then lauren card demanded half her kit back back and miles got told off by by miss riley and mr harris for going through other people's belongings and giving miss riley a t terrible fright i felt sorry for my Miles because he's only trying to do a good trick and he'd even told us that how he'd done it and, and the magicians that I've seen never told me how they do their tricks not even when I've asked all all the way through their act so after break um, I sneaked under our table when no one was looking and put loads of glue over Miles left shoe and then I sprinkled a whole tube of green glitter over it. Then Miles saw his shoe and said and he was shocked. How did that happen? said and and so I said the sh only the shoe knows Miles only the shoe knows. The end.